What's up guys, Jordan here with Objective Seed Toro's Lesson 18, Creating an Object and Messaging It. Now objects are very, very important in Objective C. Obviously you can tell that just from the name, I mean Objective C. So anyways, we're going to go ahead and jump into this lesson, starting off on how to create an object. And that little snippet of code there is how you create an object and send a message to it. You have the class, then the object's name, and the message. So this creates an object by sending a new message to the class that uh, this object is based on. Now, a little bit uh, of specifics on messaging the object. Uh, the basic syntax of it is you have the receiver. So who's receiving this message, the actual message itself, and then arguments. Now the receiver can be a class or an object. So in Objective C, you can send messages to a class, and this is pretty cool if you're coming from another language like C++. If you're um, just learning how to program, this probably isn't that special. But not all classes allow this, so that's kind of a neat uh, little feature. Now, continuing to go over that message uh, the budget class gets sent the new message that's what's happening there and there's two features of this new method which is inherited from ns object which is the super class of our budget class um, and these two features are that it holds memory or allocates it for the ivars of the object and it also sends an init message which is the initialization message to the new object and another thing is each class at runtime gets passed an object and this object is a class object and it has the ability to create new objects now on to the name of the object uh, as you can see it's not just a straight up name it's actually has an asterisk in front of it and this is uh, because it's a pointer to uh, the memory of the object. So what's returned is not the new object's actual address. And sending messages to the object. Well, right there you see three messages that we sent to this Europe budget object. And what we're basically doing is we're just assigning values to where the arguments were. So there were arguments uh, the first one create budget was then after that was a budget and so we're just assigning a thousand dollars and we're really assigning it to the IVARs because a budget was assigned to budget so we're assigning a thousand dollars to budget and this is kind of confusing I know because it's in a keynote and you don't see the whole code but once you see all the code it'll make a lot of sense and we did all this assigning the numbers to like the budget and everything before using uh, structs with the dot syntax now, accessing the object's IVARs. How do you access the right object's IVARs? Because we're not using that whole dot syntax any longer, where before we would use the struct variable dot and then whatever that member was. So how do we access one object's uh, IVARs and not another's? Well, Objective-C has a very interesting way of solving this problem. When you send a message, a hidden argument called self, which is a pointer to the IVARs, is passed to the object. So um, an example of what all I'm talking about is when you wrote in the last lesson that NS log, when you typed budget, um, what the compiler actually sees is self and then that arrow deference operator, then budget. So it says self so it tells the compiler um, what object it is and then once the compiler knows which object it knows which IVAR to use. Now we're going to go ahead and jump into Xcode and actually create a couple objects and send us some messages. Okay so here we are in Xcode working with the program that we've been working with the past couple of lessons and before we actually start coding some objects I have a typo I misspelled budget um, and it's one of the IVARs so uh, this program obviously wouldn't work because all 
these uh, I bars would be undeclared. So um, if you did misspell that also when you were copying what I was coding, uh, go ahead and change that. And once that's all done, go ahead and jump down into main and we're going to declare some local variables. So double number dollars in Europe equals 100 and double number euros equals 100 double number dollars in England and this is the exact the exact same thing we did before so nothing different here okay so now that we have that all done, we can go ahead and create our new object. So uh, it's going to be uh, this object is going to be based on the uh, budget class, and it's going to be Europe budget, and then send it that uh, new message. And there you go. You just created a new object so now we're gonna send it some messages so Europe budget and then create budget and we're gonna create this budget with a thousand dollars and the exchange rate will be 1.25 oh, oh. and there you go you just sent a message to your newly created object so then we're gonna go through and send it two more messages uh, spend dollars it will be a uh, number euros or number uh, dollars in Europe excuse me there and then the last one will be charge foreign currency and it'll be number euros okay so now that we have that all done we need to create a new object so we're gonna name this one England budget send it the new message again and there you go, you've created your now second object. Um, whoops, England budget, create budget. We're gonna have $2,000 in the England budget with the exchange rate of 1.5000. And then spend dollars, number, dollars in England and England budget charge foreign currency number pounds and there we go we now actually have all the code for this program to run right so if we build and run save all okay now this is basically the exact same results that we got last time in lesson 13. So I won't be going over them, but I will be going over exactly what all is going on in this program if you don't quite understand it. So first off, we start off with uh, the interface. So we create this class, which is called budget, and it's based on NS object, and it has these IVARs. Um, it has an exchange rate, a budget, and an exchange transaction. And then we uh, declare these methods and I won't go over them right now because they're right down here below in the implementation so now we jump down into the implementation and the first method um, it creates a budget and then has an argument for how much is in the budget and then it also has an exchange rate and has an argument for that exchange rate and then it assigns these arguments so whatever value is uh, assigned to the ar these arguments then that is assigned to the IVARs up here 
Then we jump down to the spend dollars method and it has this argument dollars and it subtracts whatever value is given to dollars and then um, it subtracts and then reassigns that value it subtracts the value from budget and then reassigns it to budget there finally got it said correctly and uh, then it displays this in an uh, with an NS log so converting uh, whatever however much this dollars was um, into foreign currency leaves and then the resulting amount of the budget now we jump down to the charge foreign currency method with um, an argument for how much foreign currency there is and then it assigns the foreign currency the however much that is times the exchange rate and it assigns all that to the exchange transaction and then it subtracts that from budget and then reassigns that value to budget and then we display this in NS with an NS log uh, charging however much the foreign currency um, leaves and then how much is left in the budget so that's what all these methods do and then down here this is where kind of the everything happens in the program we declare these local variables uh, number dollars in Europe and number euros I'm just gonna be going over the Europe side of it and we assign both of them the value of a hundred now we create this object based on the budget class and it's called Europe budget now we send it three messages the first one is it's we say create a budget and since we know that this needs an argument we say hey create a budget with a thousand dollars and we also know that it has another argument and so we give the exchange rate we assign 1.25 as the exchange rate so then everything that's in this gets run then we uh, go to the next message and it says hey spend dollars method and since it recognizes that it has an argument also it says uh, dollars will be assigned the value of number dollars in Europe so that'll be a hundred and then it goes through and does everything that's in the spend dollars method and then it also sends it this last message which is charge foreign currency it recognizes again that it has an argument so it assigns the value number the value that's in number euros that's also 100 and then it runs through th uh, these three steps and that's all to the program so you just assign the I bars up here you declare first line the methods you put all the action of the methods and then you declare any local variables and then you declare your objects and then you send the messages to initiate these methods and send it the values for the arguments that it needs. So a very basic program for a object oriented program that is. So anyways, next lesson we'll be splitting this program up into uh, separate files because an objective C program is not all in one file like what uh, we have been working with so we're going to split it up and that's going to be the gist of next lesson and then after that we're going to be talking about naming conventions so some good stuff uh, coming up uh, I hope you like this video so please like it and comment below and subscribe to these uh, great objective C tutorials and also uh, check out some of my other videos if you haven't already and thanks for watching